The Apostolic Palace is the official residence of the Pope, which is located in Vatican City. It is also known as the Papal Palace and the Palace of the Vatican. The Vatican itself refers to the building as the Palace of Sixtus V in honor of Pope Sixtus V. The building contains the Papal Apartments, various government offices of the Catholic Church and the Holy See, private and public chapels. Vatican museums and the Vatican Library, including the Sistine Chapel, Raphael Rooms and Borgia Apartment. The modern tourist can see these last and other parts of the palace, but not many parts, including the Sala Regia and Capella Parolina. The Scala Regia can be seen into from one end but not entered. History in the 5th century, Pope Symmachus built a papal palace close to the Old Street, Peter's Basilica which served an alternative residence to the Lateran Palace. The construction of a second fortified palace was sponsored by Pope Eugene III and extensively modified under Pope Innocent III in the 12th century. Upon returning to Rome in 1377 after the interlude of the Avignon Papacy, which saw Rome subject to civil unrest and the abandonment of several Christian monuments. The popes chose to reside first at Basilica di Santa Maria in Trastevere and then at Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore. The Vatican Palace had fallen into disrepair from lack of upkeep and the Lateran Palace underwent two destructive fires in 1307 and 1361 which did irreparable harm. In 1447, Pope Nicholas V raised the ancient fortified palace of Eugene III to erect a new building, the current Apostolic Palace. In the 15th century, the palace was placed under the authority of a prefect. This position of apostolic prefect lasted from the 15th century till the 1800s, when the Papal States fell into economic difficulties. In 1884, when this post was reviewed in light of saving money, Pope Leo XIII created a committee to administer the palace. The major additions and decorations of the palace are the work of the following popes for 150 years. Construction of the current version of the palace began on 30 April 1589 under Pope Sixtus V and its various intrinsic parts were completed by later successes. Pope Urban VII, Pope Innocent XI and Pope Clement VIII. In the 20th century, Pope Pius XI built a monumental art gallery and museum entrance. Palace Structure The Apostolic Palace is run by the Prefecture of the Pontifical Household. The palace is more accurately a series of self-contained buildings within the well-recognized outer structure which is arranged around the courtyard of Sixtus V. It is located northeast of St. Peter's Basilica and adjacent to the Bastion of Nicholas V and Palace of Gregory XIII. The Apostolic Palace houses both residential and support offices of various functions as well as administrative offices not focused on the life and functions of the Pope himself. Sistine Chapel Perhaps the best known of the palace chapels is the Sistine Chapel named in honor of Sixtus IV. It is famous for its decoration that was frescoed throughout by Renaissance artists including Michelangelo, Sandro Botticelli, Pietro Perugino, Pinturicchio, Domenico Ghirlandaio, and others. One of the primary functions of the chapel is as a venue for the election of each successive pope in a conclave of the College of Cardinals. In this behind locked doors election, the cardinals choose a successor to the first pope, Saint Peter, who has traditionally set up residence within the Apostolic Palace. Raphael Rooms This suite of rooms is famous for its frescoes by a large team of artists working under Raphael. They were originally intended as a suite of apartments for Pope Julius II. He commissioned Raphael, then a relatively young artist from Urbino, and his studio in 1508 or 1509 to redecorate the existing interiors of the rooms entirely. It was possibly Julius' intent to outshine the apartments of his predecessor Pope Alexander VI, as the stands are directly above Alexander's Borgia apartments. They are on the third floor, overlooking the south side of the Belvedere Courtyard. 
running from east to west as a visitor would have entered the apartment, but reversing the sequence in which the stands were frescoed, and also the route of the modern visitor, the rooms of the Sala di Costantino, the Stanza di Eliodoro, the Stanza della Segnatura and the Stanza dell'Incendio del Borgo. After the death of Julius in 1513, with two rooms frescoed, Pope Leo X continued the program. Following Raphael's death in 1520, his assistants Gianfrancesco Penny, Giulio Romano and Raffaellino del Col finished the project with the frescoes in the Sala di Costantino. Borgia Apartments The Borgia Apartments are a suite of rooms in the palace adapted for personal use by Pope Alexander VI. He commissioned the Italian painter Pinturicchio to lavishly decorate the apartments with frescoes. The paintings and frescoes, which were executed between 1492 and 1494, drew on a complex iconographic program that used themes from medieval encyclopedias, adding an eschatological layer of meaning and celebrating the supposedly divine origins of the Borgias. The rooms are variously considered a part of the Vatican Library and Vatican Museums. Some of the rooms are now used for the Vatican Collection of Modern Religious Art, inaugurated by Pope Paul VI in 1973. Clementine Hall The Clementine Hall was established in the 16th century by Pope Clement VIII in honor of Pope Clement I, the third pope. Like other chapels and apartments in the palace, the hall is notable for its large collection of frescoes and other art. Other uses the term apostolic palace has been used in other contexts not directly related to the actual palace of Sixtus V. It has been used, for example, as a metonym for the papacy itself in the same way the term White House is used to describe the United States presidential administration, generally, rather than the physical building itself. The term was also referenced in the video game Civilization IV beyond the sword, where a player could establish an apostolic palace as the symbolic home of a civilization's state religion. While the game's developers did represent the apostolic palace function with an image of St. Peter's Square, the image, somewhat ironically, does not actually include a view of the palace itself. Regardless, the in-game function of the Apostolic Palace is not religion-specific and the use of the term is representative of religious administration, generally, rather than a specific reference to the Vatican, Gallery, Apostolic Palace, Apostolic Palace from St. Peter's Square, Scala Regia by Gian Lorenzo Bernini, Plan of the Apostolic Palace, 